Second annual Marysville to uh, America's Flint Hills gravel bike packing adventure is about to kick off. We have doubled our number of riders from last year. Last year we had uh, three. I think this year we've got at least six. We've got a lady from the newspaper there. Had a little adventure already this morning. We went to get the continental breakfast at our hotel and went back to get into our room only to discover that our key card didn't work. Not only did our key card not work, they tried a physical key, that didn't work. We thought maybe we were gonna get delayed because we couldn't get our bicycles, but she happened to have a master electronic card that finally got us in. So a little bit of stress this morning, but uh, you know what, it's gonna be three days of riding. It's way better than sitting in the office, so it's time to just sit back and de-stress. How's everybody doing? We're here. Yay. Look at all that excitement. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day, as excited as they are to start it. All right, let's roll. Let's do it. Managed to find a loose cow We're running along with us. Old Betsy wants to join in. Hopefully, old Betsy doesn't want to charge us. A couple cows on the route last year. A couple cows on the route this year. Not sure if that's good luck, but we had pretty good time of it last year, so I'll call it good luck. Sir. Is that your girlfriend back there? One of them. One of them? There were two of them. Which one? mile 12 into the route so far it's been a really good day low winds not too hot not too cold mostly just gravel so far but we'll uh, probably get into some mmrs here before too long bike packing tip 101 sour patch kids bring them eat them love them good power a little bit of salt and delicious Taking a little break in this old cemetery. Well, it's kind of neat to look at the headstones and see people that were here in the 1800s and such. Anyway, I thought it was cool. How many bike packing trips have you been on? Me? Yes. Uh, that's my third or fourth. This week? No. This all time week, all time yeah did you i did the erie canal and i did uh solo one down to where the hell did i go uh i think i just went one city away and then i did uh, the sub 24 ho thing with scott red a few years back that was fun what are you thinking of the route so far i love it i mean we're oh only my gosh this is beautiful 20 miles into a 180 mile route but you know you couldn't ask for better weather better people better roads it's a good day today it is well known fact what? Barry is a part-time superhero, that's why he wears capes.
little burn area of the day. Haven't seen any active ones, but as you can see, there's evidence that they were burning. Dockhorn. Hello. I hear you're a bit of a bike packing aficionado. I've done my share. Having circumnavigated the globe twice on a bicycle, which is impressive with all that water. Yeah, it is, really. And that was really, very hard. But you did do across the U.S. I have done across the United States. Once? Twice? Just once. Three, Three times, times a week. 23 years old. Part of the bike centennial. 23 years old, so like 10 years ago. Yeah. Oh, it might be 12. What kind of bikes were they using for bike packing back when you were 23 years old? So there was no car back. There was no specific bikes. I rode a Raleigh Grand Sport, which was a touring bike. Outfitted with a rack on the back and a bag in the front. And away I went, all 10 speeds. How many miles would you say you did? Uh, that route that year was 4,200 and something. What did it take you? It took us 80, uh, yeah, 80 days. 80 days, so obviously we're not sprinting it out. No, no. Would you do it again? You know, I had that on my list of things to do is to ride across the United States again. Supported? Uh, we'll do a supported. First time it was unsupported. I've Sign me up. up soft in my old age. Let's do it next week. There you go. All right. Who brings a Jeep to a bike packing trip? This guy. <laughs> Did you bring pizza Fil and beer? Filtered air. Pizza and beer? No. I'm filtering my in. air too. <laughs> One nostril hair at a time. <laughs> Hort Bit, American artist, Rome Hill community, early 1900s through the 70s, I believe. Now it's gone? Oh, well, there's a few people left, not many. What kind of community was it? It was uh, kind of an artist colony. Oh, I like the house. There's a great big house up in the field.
talk a little crime and crime and crime and crime and crime and crime Mile 33, we're stopping for lunch. I snuck a Stiegel, Raspberry Stiegel. Goes down pretty good on a dusty road. I am sharing, of course, because sharing is caring. But this is our uh, dining stop for the day. Gonna do uh, lunch here, whatever everybody brought to eat. We are about halfway for the day. I'm coming. Video. We've got Nutella and peanut butter. You just want peanut butter? Yes. Those, my friend, are the great American bison. Kind of cool to see a herd, not really in the wild, but in the open. Kind of fenced in, but still, 
They used to roam the prairies everywhere. Now they're just in little confined parcels. Impromptu water stop, thanks to, uh, I think it's Staddle Farms, which is good because we were all running a little bit low on water. And now our prayers have been answered. Does it? For anybody to use. We use remember that. We use the neighbors sometimes come and get water. That, I think it would be a real water line. That don't have real water available, you know. And, uh, when uh, they were burning, people were burning pasture around here last week, they would stop and fill up their water tanks here. Oh my! <laughs> well, that must be what that bigger hose is for. Yeah, yeah. Rick, well, I got a five spot if you fill your water bottle out of that thing. <laughs> the bigger hose is to fill Filter. the uh, spray tanks that Sprayers. we use in the summer on the crops. Yeah, it has a, it has a special so we stopped and talked to the uh, lady that was uh, living across the street. Um, that was a rural water line. We thanked her for it anyways, even though I guess technically it wasn't hers. It was put in by, I don't know, probably the rural water district for everybody around here that doesn't have water. She was explaining how last week the tanker trucks fighting the fires or keeping the fires under control was using it. One of the hoses had a pretty big attachment for filling up those big tanker trucks. Some of us were running out of water. Well, most of us were running out of water. We're about mile 42. Water wasn't till mile 52, but everybody's got water now. We're all hydrated and happy. Woohoo! Look at the stone on that barn. Coming into Oldsburg, Kansas. First sign of civilization today. Not a very big town, but they do have a small convenience store and a cold drink and something to eat. It sounds more than a little delightful right now. We are 52 miles in. We have 14 left to go and then today we'll be done. Dave's having some mechanical issues, but there's a master mechanic, Rick, using a tie down strap to try to tighten the bearing cup on a bottom bracket so that uh, hopefully Dave can continue the ride. We've got pizza coming and we've got entertainment now. It's like dinner in a movie. So we managed to get Dave fixed up enough that he's rolling again. It's not pretty. We found a guy with a 10 mil Allen wrench and some channel locks. So we were able to get the crank to spin not spinning freely bottom bracket shot for sure might have a line on one from Emporia that he can run and get tomorrow uh, but that means he won't be riding tomorrow but Friday and Saturday so one day out just have to make it 13 miles and we'll be at the campground for the night Travelers, charge! We'll see. I says, "What? <laughs> We've been riding 33 miles, and I can still see Marysville." And then we go another 10 miles. Yeah. We can still see it. We still see it. <laughs> Rick's like, we were like Damn 50 it? miles in, and we can still see yeah. it. Running joke is we were very far away from Marysville, but because we took a roundabout sort of way 
we can still see Marysville for a long distance. It's been an adventure. Uh, Dave had a crank issue, uh, bottom bracket issue actually, but we have found one. So he's gonna take a ride with Debbie tomorrow morning to Manhattan and he's gonna get his bike fixed and then we'll figure out where he's gonna meet up with us because we don't want him to miss Little Egypt Road because that would be a shame. So when you ride almost 70 miles, you get a feast at the end, courtesy of Rick and Debbie. Look at all that. I bought these fun little things. We'll eat whatever we got. Barry, how is it? It's so good. Is it worth the 70 miles? If there's anything worth the 70 miles, it'd be this. Yeah, for sure. Day one is in the books. Uh, 69 and a half miles. Six hours, 30 minutes of moving time, 10.6 uh, average, and we got uh, 4,200 feet of climbing on fully packed bicycles. We deserve this, we've earned it. Cheers! Tomorrow's even worse.